Well, we'd like to uh, welcome all of you here today for this uh, presentation. Uh, Berea has been awarded $91,000 in a energy grant through the Department of Energy as well as through the Cuyahoga County uh, Executive's Office. And I'd like to thank Ed Fitzgerald and our County Councilman for this opportunity. This will give cities like Berea the opportunity to retrofit some of our lighting in our public facilities. It will save us about $24,000 a year in energy costs. And so we're very excited to have this opportunity. And uh, I'd also like to thank the members of my staff, especially Rebecca Corrigan, for uh, finishing the grant for us. It was a quick turnaround, but we're very pleased once again to have this type of opportunity uh, for our community and for the entire county. At this point, I'm going to turn it over to our county executive, uh, Ed Fitzgerald, and he has uh, some comments for you as well. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Mayor. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor Kleem. Uh, thanks for coming out here today. This is an example of several things that we're trying to do at the county. First of all, when we get federal money, when we can spend it in local communities, we're trying to do that. Now, we, we had a choice that we had to make uh, when we got the, this federal, the, some of the federal funding through energy efficiency uh, black grants. We could have chosen to, to keep those in-house at the county and uh, exclusively, and we decided not to do those. So we've spent those those funds in a number of a number of ways. Today is an example of that. We're trying, uh, unlike like some of the things that have happened actually at the at the state level, we're actually trying to provide more assistance for our local communities. So in this instance, this was about 1.1 million dollars uh, in funding that we're bringing back to local communities. Again, we could have kept those in-house and use them for county budget line items but we made the choice that especially in these difficult financial times we wanted to provide that assistance uh, to some of our communities so what did we do in in particular well the the requirement was that these funds would be used in a way that would promote energy efficiency so first of all the funds actually paid for energy efficiency audits uh, and there were 50 communities that ended up doing energy efficiency audits of one kind or another. Now, they can use the results of those audits to do anything that's a qualified expenditure with their own funds that's suggested by the audit. So that's number one. So there are more savings that are going to be brought about as a result of those audits than just this $1.1 million. For the $1.1 million, we announced that in June we were going to have this competition for communities and there were there were multiple communities that applied there ended up being 13 communities that ended up getting grants city of berea is just one of them i i want to give credit to mayor clem is in his administration because they've been very forward thinking about this and, and applying for these types of funds it's actually the second kind of investment like this we made from the county because we also helped fund the wind turbine uh at the fairgrounds as the folks behind me know um, so that was another project that was in the Berea area. It's very important because uh, these are expensive projects and there needs to be an upfront investment before the savings are, are, are uh, fully realized. It's, it's important for the, for the state and the county and the federal government uh, to try to, to help with these. And we funded uh, basically 100% of the work that was done under this particular project. We're estimating that countywide there'll be more than a quarter million dollars that's saved on a yearly basis. So this $1.1 million in federal funds will pay for itself, we think, in local savings after just four years, and we think the savings will go on uh, many times after that. Um, we have some representatives that have also worked with us, besides Mayor Clean behind me. You have from County Council, you have uh, Councilman uh, Mike Gallagher, uh, who's been a big proponent of this, and also Councilman Purnell Jones is also a big supporter of this effort, and also uh, Mayor of Moreland Hills, uh, 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 Mayor Renda is here as well. The, oh, the winning communities, by the way, I, I do want to list them, are besides Berea, are Bedford Heights, uh, Brooklyn Heights, Glen Willow, Highland Hills, Maple Heights, Moreland Hills, represented here by their Mayor, North Randall, Orange, Seven Hills, Shaker Heights, uh, University Heights, um, and, and Valley View. Uh, if you want specifics about what the projects are in those cities, we can give those to you. I can tell you just the audit piece, because we, again, we, we funded these, these energy efficiency audits 
in about 50 different communities, there is over $4 million worth, uh, or I'm sorry, 4 million square feet of municipal property, uh, m municipal buildings that were, that were audited. So the, the total amount of savings is actually gonna be much greater than anything that I've mentioned. I just close with, uh, with this thought, and that is this is just one thing that we're trying to do in terms of being a regional supporter of communities. It's very consistent with our, our $100 million fund that we uh, announced earlier this year. We're also providing IT services, HR services to municipalities that are interested in them. We're also doing more road repair than we that, than we used to. We have a, a two-year moratorium on on county road work that we're we're entitled to charge communities up to 20 percent. We're charging them zero percent for the next two years. So in these difficult times, we think it's important for the county to try to step up uh, and help all of our our suburban communities, and we're trying to do that today. I think is a great example of us helping, but also in a strategic way that in the long run makes us more energy efficient, uh, more of a green community, and we're gonna save money in the long run.